Welcome back to Edison's Tarot. We're going to do another Divine Masculine update. We're going to use Truths and we're going to use the Twin Flame Dilemma Oracle deck. Once I finish shuffling, I will turn down the music. Let's get this energy. Everybody, I'm back with another one. We are on the third one. Make sure you check out all the videos and please make sure you push that like button and subscribe as well. Okay, we ain't gonna do no hold up, we're gonna jump straight into this reading. Okay, and um, yeah, so okay, your masculine. You know, he's in his feelings as he realizes, okay, with a water sign, okay? Your masculine could already be involved with a water sign, or he could be hurting over a water sign, okay? But it's something significant about a water sign that got this masculine in his feelings, okay? This masculine realizing that he loves you, or either he's realizing that he wants to leave you, okay? But he's in his feelings trying to figure it out concerning 
a water sign. You and this karmic can both be water signs, okay? Who knows, okay? But whoever this masculine is, okay, he tired of sitting up here being in his ego, walking around, acting like everything is okay, like he's strong when he's not. It's bothering this masculine that he doesn't have you in his life. This masculine wants to sit up here and reconcile with you, wishing that he wasn't in his ego as long as he been, okay? Your masculine could be a Leo, or he could have Leo in his chart somewhere. But, you know, lions are very strong, very tough, but this masculine's hurting without you being in his life. He feels the absence of you, Divine Feminine. This masculine is realizing that he wants you back. He realizing that he wants you back in his life and that he wants to reconcile and that he wants to sit up here and reach out. But this masculine said he wished that he could send you a message, but you hard to figure out. He don't know how you feel about the situation, how you going to take the situation. But this masculine, he know that he wants to reach out to you, okay, without a shadow of a doubt. He knows that he wants to reconcile with you, okay? And he realizes that, okay? That he wants to sit up here and apologize to you and also sit up here and spend some quality time with you, okay? He wants to do that, okay? Wants to meet up, talk, send a message, but you know, in his heart, he knows that he wants to apologize and that he wished that he could just see you and reconcile with you. He would sit up here and send you a message, okay? But he feels as though it's too hard to sit up here and figure you out, okay? This masculine don't want to be in his ego no more, okay? Concerning this water sign, okay? Because he realizes the truth. Once you receive the truth, you can't unsee the truth, okay? And this masculine sees everything for what it is. And this masculine is hurting due to the decisions that he has made, okay? Whoever this masculine is, he is still in a relationship with the karmic. Your masculine could be an air sign, okay? You could be an air sign, okay? But he is sitting up here feeling trapped with this karmic. One to reach out, one to apologize, but this karmic is watching him. She don't want him to be on good terms with you. She don't want him to, you know, uh, have the conversation that he been, you know, wanting to have with you. This karmic been sitting up here seeing that this masculine is missing you, wanting you, and she feels as though any day now, his ass is going to reach out and send you a call, a text message, and she want to be right there when his ass do, okay? He can't make a phone call nowhere. He can't Google. He can't do anything without this karmic watching to see if he going to sit up here and reach out and call you okay this could be an air sign that's going through this currently that's realizing okay exactly how this karmic really is whoever this karmic is okay and this masculine they be posing for social media like everything is on the up and ups okay they show sure know how to put it on thick okay this masculine be sitting up here you know taking pictures with the karmic and the family looking and pretending like he's so happy but behind doors that's a damn lie his ass is hurting sad missing the empress okay and all that shit is a fucking front okay on what you see on social media he most definitely not happy okay and he been living a fucking lie okay feeling fucking trapped, okay, with this fucking karmic, okay, he get tired of this bitch sitting up here looking over his fucking shoulder, he get tired that he can't call his mama Google, okay, make, you know, can't call his food and say he want to get a cheeseburger, you know, um, with some grilled onions, some cheese, some lettuce or whatever, he can't even make the call, or even sit up here and place an order because this bitch be right fucking there, breathing hard, looking. This bitch go to bed and wake up every day with crunk, um, what's that word? I hate being country sometimes. 
Pussy Tech Dog Alert. Damn, I just had a crook. Thank you, Lord. A crook in your, in your neck, okay? She's so much watching, okay? So she have a crook in your fucking neck, okay? Yes, okay? Whoever this karmic is, she don't want this masculine to sit up here be missing you. She don't want this masculine to sit up here. Hold on. There you go. Yeah, she don't want this masculine to sit up here and make things right with you. She wants this masculine to sit up here and focus on money, her money, okay? She wants this masculine out here making money to be able to sit up here and run with the Jones, okay? She want him out here busting his ass, okay, to sit up here and, you know, give her this lifestyle that she's accustomed to living, that she's accustomed to posting, okay? She want him to focus only on money and day family. She probably don't even want this masculine around his own biological family. That's how pressed, this is how extra this bitch can be, okay? She want him focused only on money, okay? And her household, okay? And her family, okay? See, Divine Femme, you already know that this masculine not happy, even though he over there putting it on thick over there on social media for this karmic. You know the fucking truth. And one thing you know is that that masculine not happy. You can look at a picture and you can see that your masculine not happy as much as he's showing the motherfucking choppers up in the motherfucking um picture, showing his teeth and gum like he's so happy with this bitch. He really not. And you be seeing a lot of pictures that he look not fucking happy that they be posting on social media, okay? Mm-hmm. All along, this masculine sitting up here feeling trapped, want to sit up here and call you and fucking can't, okay? And going through the motions that he can't reach out to you to talk to you to have a conversation or anything. And he wants to reach out to you and say something to you, but he don't want to jeopardize the relationship with the karmic just in case you don't want to talk to him, okay? See, this masculine, he don't want to sit up here and be alone, okay? This masculine most definitely made up his mind that it's you that he want. He want to come back towards you, reconcile, make things fucking right. But he don't know how you feel. He don't know if you're going to be open to him coming back. And this is the reason why he hasn't left this karmic, okay? Because he don't know where it's at with you. If you was to tell your masculine today that you would accept him back, he would walk away from that karmic. Okay, but see, God wants that masculine to walk away from the karmic because he know to do so, okay? See, this masculine wants to sit up here and apologize to you. Ben wants to sit up here and reach out to you, but it, this karmic making sure that he can't. And this is why your masculine not fucking ready, okay? This is why he not fucking ready because he's still over there with that fucking karmic. This is what set up here and make his ass locked down, unavailable. And it's not time for you and your masculine to come back together because he still got that motherfucking wolf over there watching him, okay? Watching him and he can't even... Well, he feels as though he can't even text or even reach out to you, okay? Feeling trapped within his situation, knowing that he should have been sat up here, reached out, sent you a message, and he mad, okay, that he was in his ego, not being right, okay, waiting for you to chase him, okay? See, this masculine been out here, sitting up here, dealing with all these options and everything, okay? Because he feel insecure. He deal with a lot of different women. So just in case one leave, he got others, okay? This is why your masculine likes sitting up here dealing with all these fucking options and shit. Thinking that he can replace you. Thinking that other people gonna be like you. And he know without a shadow of a doubt that ain't nobody like you, okay? Ain't nobody got the love and vibration, caring and nurturing that you have. Nobody. Nobody, he realized that, okay, he should, because he been around the world and I, 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 okay, but hey, all I can say is that this masculine do want to sit up here and apologize to you 
for lying and playing games. And he want to tell you why he has not been available to be able to sit up here and chase you. And why he hasn't sat up here and been ready, okay? See, this masculine, he was dealing with this karmic. And he was dealing with other women as well, okay? It looked like the reason why your masculine ghosted you, okay, is because he lived with the karmic. And he also sat up here and, you know, got a white woman pregnant, a black woman pregnant, and he had a living situation. This masculine was a busybody out here fucking, getting his fuck on, doing the most, okay? He had two women at the same damn time that was sitting up here giving birth, okay? One was a little further than the other, but not too far ahead, okay? Whoever this masculine is, he ended up having a baby this summer, okay? Whoever this karmic is, she done had her baby recently, one of them or both of them, okay? Then had their baby this summer or will be having it towards the end of the summer, okay? But this masculine has been out here being a busybody. He has, okay? This masculine got people sitting up here pregnant. And he was sitting up here dealing with different options and shit, trying to get over you, okay? And he also lives with the karmic. This is why she on high alert, okay? She could have found out about you, Divine Feminine, and other women that is pregnant by this masculine, okay? And she feels some type of way about it, as she should, okay? This masculine be doing a whole lot of shit out here, okay? I don't know if they got an open relationship or what, okay? But whoever this masculine is, okay, to deal with this karmic, he had two people pregnant at the same damn time. This is why he had to avoid you, okay? He had to avoid you because he had two women pregnant at the time. Whoever this karmic is, she could have found out that this masculine had two other women pregnant at the same time. To why this masculine had to up. Thank you, Lord. That's, that that sounds like that's true. This, that's why he had to up and root and walk away instantly from you. Because this shit hit the fan due to the karmic he been having a living arrangement. Married to or have kids with. This is why the masculine was avoiding you. Because that shit ended up coming out. Okay. This is why this masculine ain't been ready for you. Okay. For real. This masculine sat up here and had a baby recently. Okay with one of these options, okay, or a couple of them, okay, that baby looks like it's, um, okay, whoever this karmic baby is, this masculine has somebody pregnant and already had a, a, a toddler, okay, he could have already just had a baby and had two other women pregnant at the same time, okay, your masculine was out here doing the most, he was most definitely not emotionally available because his ass had got caught up with all the different lies and shit, okay? And it looked like everything hit the fan, okay? Because this karmic discovered you and these other people as well, okay? Yes. This is why the masculine had to avoid you because this karmic didn't want her perfect family that she portrays to social media to not look like it's supposed to, okay? Mm-hmm. This is why he had to avoid you having a family living arrangement with this karmic, okay? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, in the meantime, this masculine continued to sit up here and deal with these women, his karmic, and he was sitting up here using other options as distractions as well to try to get over you to only realize that can't nobody compare to you, or Divine Feminine, okay? So, why you sit, why he's sitting up here doing all that shit that he doing, you was over here working on yourself, okay? You was working on yourself, still working on yourself, healing, getting whole within yourself, okay? In solitude, getting to know you inside out, okay? Hair in the ponytail, okay? Getting re rejuvenated with life, okay, and God, okay, that's what you were sitting up here doing, okay, healing, and you still are healing, Divine Feminine, 
You have walked away from any unnecessary shit. If you're not vibing with the same vibration, which means no bullshit, drama, cheating, on point, okay? You don't want nothing to do with it, okay? If a person ain't going to level up and at least try to be the best person that they can be, you don't want to be around it. You are in your empress energy, okay and you're not dealing with no low vibrational shit okay if a motherfucker want to be out here for the streets fucking street cat go be divine feminine's fucking guest okay yes divine feminine said no she walking away from that shit she too she too blessed to be stressed okay she is she is okay divine feminine has been going through an ascension okay her psychic powers okay and downloads is coming in stronger her gifts is more activating god got his hand on this divine feminine's life that's why god got her in solitude because god is working okay on divine feminine currently okay in a real way okay this divine feminine has been doing a lot of healing okay a lot of healing a lot of loving on herself okay and god is pleased and proud with you okay as you sit in solitude you think about everything okay and your third eye is open okay and your connection with god is solid okay it's never a reason to feel insecure when it comes to god because your relationship with them is super solid solid okay for real okay yeah see your masculine he want to come in and have a conversation with you because he want to reconcile with you okay and see you don't want to hear no excuses you don't want to hear no excuses you not sitting up here trying to have sex, be in no sexual encounter, or hear no bullshit ass lies. You okay with everybody going their way as long as they do it in a peaceful, respectful way. You and your empress energy, okay? You learn from all your mistakes and you moving forward. You don't want to hear no lies. You don't want to be sold no dream. And you damn sure don't want to lay up with another woman's meat, okay? You damn sure ain't on that, okay? Your crown on the top of your head, nice and straight, okay? For real. Divine Feminine learned her spiritual lessons, okay? While your mask is still going through it, okay? Divine Feminine is walking away from the bullshit, loving herself, keeping her vibration up, okay? Period, point blank, okay? This masculine, okay, karmic, she knows that this masculine wants to get a divorce. She knows that the love is not there like it used to be, and she is stressed out, okay? See, this masculine is holding on to your energy, okay? Won't, don't want to let you go. Don't want nobody to have none of that good, good, yum, yum, okay? Don't want nobody to have none, okay? Why he over there with the karmic study holding on to you, divine feminine shit is crazy. Over there in a whole panic, okay? Breaking down, okay? In a sweat. Okay, over you, trying to hold on to you, wondering who going to you be with, okay, eventually, okay? He can't take the fact on knowing that you can move on and somebody else can have some of that yum-yum. He cannot sit up here and accept that. It's something about when he think of somebody else being close to you, it look like it make him sick, okay? It look like it makes him sick to even think about anybody getting close to you, Divine Family. I'm trying to tell you. For real. See, Divine Feminine, mm -mm, you feel as though he need to mind his business, okay? You done made your mind up that change is here. You want to sit up here and deal with somebody that ain't hurt you, somebody on the same vibration, not with the bullshit, okay? You ain't got no time to play no games, okay? Tricks is for kids, okay? And you ain't got no time for it, okay? And you're definitely not finna be sitting up here wanting to deal with no man out here with all these damn different options, okay? Out here being distracted, out here sitting up here in a living situation with um a car.
McCormick lying to everybody, being unavailable, why he studies sitting up here making babies with anybody that'll lay down with him. That's not what you're going to sign up for. That's not where you see your life going, okay? It's a different thing if your masculine would have just changed, okay? But he be out here doing too much. He be out here being too distracted, okay? And um, he's avoiding you, okay? And this is why his ass is not fucking ready. He not fucking ready to sit up here and have you in his life. He's still living a lie. He's still living a lie. But you most definitely do accept his apology. You do accept his apology. You recognize that your masculine got a lot of insecurities that he need to work on. That's why he acts the way that he acts. Your masculine said that he done made up his mind that he want to come towards you. And when he come towards you, he want to ask you to marry him, marry you. When he come to reconcile with you, he coming to ask you to marry him. He, he, that he is, okay? That he is. One thing I can tell you is that your masculine don't want to be in his feelings anymore. Trying to be a ladies man, okay? When he done been out here and then seen, ain't nobody like you. He know there ain't nobody like you, Divine Feminine. Okay? And this is why he don't even want to be married to this karmic no more. He don't want to be married to her no more. Mm -mm. And this is why her ass is fucking stressed out and shit, okay? For real, this masculine don't want to sit up here and keep doing the same old shit, doing the same old thing, repeating the same ass cycle, out here being a ladies man, out here in the streets, chasing street cat with his meat. He don't want to be that way no more, okay? He wants to make some changes. He know that's the only way that he can get close to you is making any changes, okay? And he's willing to sit up here and do it because he can't sit up here and see nobody else with you this even if he had to sit up here and get a divorce from his karmic he realizes exactly what he needs to do and what I can tell you is that he doesn't want to be trapped in this marriage anymore because he feels as though being with this karmic being trapped to her in the marriage with her living with her keeps him from sitting up here coming towards what he wants okay he don't want to be trapped in no um, marriage where he's not happy yet, okay? Divine Feminine, you done thought long and hard about what you're going to sit up here and do, okay? And one thing you're not going to do is sit up here and put yourself in no harm's way. You as an empress, okay? And now that you have been certified, you got to make the necessary changes not to let anybody that can taint you in any type of way break you or put you in a um, karmic um, cycle again, okay? That's not where you at, okay? This is why you're taking the time to understand that when your time comes, it will. But you're looking forward to new love, okay? That you is. You don't want to be put in no third-party situations, okay? You don't. You mending your heart, and you done playing with anybody that wants to put you in any third-party situation. Anybody that feels as though they need to deal with somebody else besides you, you don't want no parts of it, okay? You healing, mending your heart, okay? That's what you're doing. Mm -hmm. You healing, mending your heart. The rest, okay, that you're going to have to prepare back together, being whole. That's what you're doing, Divine Feminine. Being independent, loving yourself, okay? Yeah. Divine Feminine, you done sat up here. You changed because you wanted to change. It looked like you independently changed, okay, and did shadow work. You wanted to change, okay? Can't nobody tempt you. Can't nobody make you want to be with them, be around them. you no longer tempted because you have done the shadow work. You have. You have learned your lessons, okay? See, your masculine, he's currently over there with this karmic, okay, dealing with one of his exes. That is toxic as a motherfucker that he refused to leave alone, okay? Whoever this karmic is, all she cares about, as long as this masculine bring her money, she don't care, okay? She don't, okay? Even though this masculine been sitting up here, um, you know, dealing with his pregnant baby mamas and stuff, he still was in the shadows. He still was in the shadows, and he's triggered every day without you. 
Thank God that you got cameras, cameras that saved your life, okay? While people been plotting, trying to come against you, cameras have um, saved your life. And also the police cameras that are outside as well on the... Um, on the light poles, thank God for technology. Thank God that it's always an eye in the sky, okay? Most definitely, okay? Because God, you can always trust, okay? It's okay to sit up here and accept somebody's apology, okay? But it don't mean that you got to be around a person. It don't mean you got to be around a person or be tempted to put yourself in the same situation again. Mm-mm. It's a turn off that your masculine continues to sit up here and run back to his exes. It's a, it, it, it's just tacky, okay? It's tacky that he like dealing with toxic street cat ass bitches. And there's nothing you can do about that. He got to heal that within himself, okay? You keep staying in high vibration. You keep on doing the damn thing, okay? And you keep moving forward, okay? Why? Because you got better days ahead, Divine Feminine. Yes, you do indeed. Yes, you do indeed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes, you just want to be alone in peace. You ain't got no time to be arguing and tripping with nobody. You still healing. Every day is better, okay? And you're healing. And that's all God asks you to do is take one day at a time. Just like when you walk, you put one foot ahead of the other, right? You take one step at a time. Same way with life. Just take one day at a time. Keep healing. And every day you get better and stronger, okay? Better days are ahead because God going to bless you, okay, for not being tempted, okay, and making the necessary changes, okay, and loving yourself, okay. Whoever this divine feminine is, okay, she has walked away from any type of sexual encounters. This divine feminine is celibate, been marinating, and been made those changes. Whoever this divine feminine, she been celibate. She been walked away from having sex with anybody that um and on the right uh, on the up and up she been celibate. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 divine feminine. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. you will benefit for going on Etsy, getting the uh, red string to be able to keep negativity and different things away. Please Google so you can know what the red string does. It's very powerful as well, and they also sell it on Etsy for three dollars and seventy-eight cents. It's really cheap. Okay, make sure you get one different styles. Okay, your masculine is currently sitting up here numbing himself, drinking. Okay. He's drinking, trying to get up courage to come ahead, okay, to see if he can have a fresh start with you. But you already know that your masculine is stubborn and hard-headed, and he like to do things when he like to do it, okay? Your masculine still got those two phones, okay, that he walk around with, okay? Mm -hmm. And only God can help this masculine come to the light. Only God can do it. Okay, yes, only God can do it. Yes, Divine Feminine, you have no choice, okay, but to keep it moving, okay? Your masculine went out his way to break free from you. It wasn't the other way around, so he got to be upset at himself for the void, okay? See, your masculine wants you to learn how to forgive through his bullshit, okay? And you know why? Because he out here knows that you out here looking like a snack and don't want to let you go, even though he committed somewhere else, okay? He extra triggered, okay, that you out here looking like a snack. He can't take it. He can't take it. Mm -mm. But he non-committal. Your masculine was non-committal, okay, when he was with you. He played you like he wanted to be in a relationship, okay, when you knew better, okay? But he sat up here and pushed that even though he knew that he wasn't ready, even though he knew he already had an already made family, okay? Yes. Mm-hmm. See, Divine Family, you got brand new love coming in. You ain't got nothing to worry about, okay? Who I'm talking about? You, her, mm-hmm. Yes, because you want to achieve your goals, okay? But it's you still working on, you know, feeling comfortable enough to open up, okay? And you still working on yourself. 
okay? It's going to be hard. To, whoever God brings in this divine feminist life, they're going to have to be patient, understanding, because this divine feminine is not going to give her heart over all willy-nilly, okay, like she used to. Divine feminine is not doing it, okay? Mm -mm. She is putting, pouring that love back into herself. This is why she's achieving goals, because she done poured into herself. Yes, divine feminine, you love yourself. You don't want to reconcile with your masculine, well, especially not right now, because he's still immature, he's still doing boy-type shit, and you're looking for a man, okay? You don't want to rekindle to some bullshit. That's not what you want to do. Your masculine could be in your dreams. You could have recently had a um, dream about your masculine, or he plans on coming to speak to you in your dream because he can't stay away from your unconditional love, okay? Be careful of this karmic trying to get into your dreams as well. Make sure you protect your um, dreams, okay? Yes. Yes. I don't know what the problem with everybody want to stop your offer from coming in because they know that this masculine is in love with you. She know that this masculine is in love with you and want to come back towards you, okay? She know it. She know what he want and what he fiend for, okay? And they over there arguing like cats and dogs, okay? He missed that unconditional love. He is not happy over there with this karmic. He just not. He just not. He just not. Uh-uh. He tied sitting up here, you know, um, not being happy, wearing a mask around this karmic, okay? This mask don't want to be there, okay? He want to come back towards his happiness on who makes him feel good about himself and loved, okay? This mask going to want to bring you a gift when he do come, okay? This could be your baby father. It says, ruthless, judgmental, absent father, okay? Yeah, your, um, your baby father, your baby daddy could have did you dirty and feel like shit about the different things that he has done and want to give you a gift, okay? And want to give you a gift, okay? Don't accept no gifts. If somebody really want to help you, they'll help you with a with a money order, a gift card, okay, or cash, okay? Letting go of past mistakes. Yeah, whoever whoever your baby daddy is, he's been thinking long and hard about how he want to let go of the bullshit and, and just be, you know, cordial towards each other, okay? Mm-hmm. All I know is that this mask going to want to break up with this karmic, okay? Mm-hmm. He want to break up with this karmic, and he want to sit up here and run to call you right away. Okay. He want to break up with this karmic and call you, okay? Or he want to talk to you, and then right after he talk to you, he's going to call the karmic, okay, and break up with her. But, uh, yeah. It looked like your masculine wants to reach out to you and tell you why he ain't reached out to you and contacted you. But it looked like he gonna make up some type of lie on why he ain't reached out and contacted you, okay? Wherever your masculine is, he at a distance and he ready to sit up here and take off and come towards you. Why? Because he wants you. Why? Because he wants to plant seeds. The only reason your masculine ain't came forward is because his, he don't want to come in empty-handed. He want to come with something in hand. But he can't because this karmic is codependent on him. This is somebody that he made a whole relationship with when he's supposed to have been friends with benefits. Okay, yes. And he feels as though he has responsibilities. This is why he ain't walked away. This could be concerning a fire sign. Okay. Yes, planning on coming towards you. Why does everybody want to be around you for your energy? Okay, planning on coming towards you. This masculine could be on the run for some type of reason or want to come in to, you know, get some of your energy so he don't get locked up, okay? Want to come get grounded and get your energy. Be careful on this masculine sitting up here planning on coming towards you. Look like he looking at jail time and he trying to plan to come towards you so he can be, you know, back on point, okay, with your energy, okay? Mm-hmm. 
want to come back and get your energy to take back to the next bitch, okay? Uh-huh. Yep, 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 yep. But guys, continue to have faith. Continue to move forward. Don't worry about nothing. So, yes, we're going to leave the video right there. Make sure you guys push that like button and subscribe. And I will be on here later. It's three videos that is uploaded on this channel right here. If you need special prayer, please feel free to reach out. Okay. Um, special prayers. Do not sit up and cost anything. If you have an issue, leave it in the comments or reach out to innocencetarot at gmail.com. And I will put you in a special prayer book. If you need extra, extra protection, please feel free to reach out and purchase a protection bubble. If you need a reading, it's a lot of affordable packages as well. Take um heat take um take heat take take the blessing okay and you know what I'm gonna start doing I'm gonna start sitting up here doing um specials for my readings as well too okay I got you guys got you got you got you and um yeah 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 mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah, you know what, I might do a special, I was just thinking, like, you know what, I'm going to do a special as well, because I'm going to see everybody else do a special, and if you need to uh, have two questions answered, I'm going to do those for $33 for this week and the next week as well. For the next 10 days, if you need two questions answered, it will be $33. Take, um heed of the specials and i just want to do something to give back to you guys okay but um uh, yeah okay check me out and um i'm gonna go lay it back out again okay i did three videos and um yeah i love you guys i adore you and i will be back on here later okay talk to you later bye